Hey you guys, how are we doing today? I um, have a new unboxing for you, for you today that I am just super, super stoked about. The last time I can remember being this excited about a pair of sunglasses was um, um, my pit bosses probably. But um, anyways, just to go ahead um, on with the unboxing. Um, I'm sure by most of you by now, you've already seen BAPD's channel, um, a couple other, John's channel. Um, I'm just sure you've already seen this, so I'm going to try and go into some detail, but you know, ultimately I think you guys know um, just about everything about this piece. So anyways, um, just on to um, just onto the shades and a little description. Uh, people who are watching my video, if you just want to see the shades, you know, normally I'd probably say skip in about um, to about a minute and a half, two minutes. So there's a little fair warning. But anyways, on with sunglasses. So as you can see um, from the plain and simple, this is part of the Artist Series line. This is the David Flores 2.0, um, and that's the way, that's what I call it, and that's what most of the collectors call it. Um, just on the side of here, it says David Flores gas can, blue with um, plaid print, and then gray lens. So um, a lot of people know that this was actually released by Oakley. Uh, it was sent out to the Oakley stores. It was scheduled for a release date. Um, I think the big place they were really actually planning to release it was in um, San Francisco. That was kind of their um, big model store for um, the David Flores. There was um, there was a lot of I've seen pictures of the store and the act the day they released them. There was big banners up. It was a really big deal for Oakley. Um, I think this was actually the I think this was the first part of their line that they actually released. There was the Artist Series. Um, and I th I'm not quite sure how it all went down, so please, this is, this might not be the 100% correct story. This is a story just that I heard, um, that he was actually arrested um, before the store opened, or maybe a little bit after. I, I, like I said, I'm not, not quite sure how, how, I, how it went down, but he was arrested that day um, for something that um, I'm not able to say on camera, but he was arrested for um, a particular reason and it was something that Oakley did not want to be affiliated with. So what happened was they actually went ahead and um, just totally discontinued the line. Sent out a mass email to everybody saying, pull back the David Flores, um, we're just gonna destroy them all. They actually gave a couple to reps, is what I was told, um, and or this is what actually I heard, that the reps were told they had to give them back. If they didn't, they would um, face they would face some kind of um, disciplinary action. And like I said, that's just what I've heard. Um, I've, that has never been, that has never been told to me about Oakley. That's just through the grapevine. So please, this is not an official report or anything like that. I just want this to be very clear that I'm not speaking for the company. This is just what I've heard. So um, anyways, that's pretty much the story. So there is two pieces to this particular artist series. There's the one that was released in the US, which is the one you're looking at right now. Um, and there was another one that was only released in Japan, um, the brown one. And the brown one is actually a little bit more rare than the blue one. Um, what, from what I've heard, I could be wrong about that. Um, but there was no official number on how many of these actually made it into circulation. So that's why I think these are a little bit more prized, but like I said, it could be wrong. So the one thing I was really stoked about my box um, and about my sunglasses, first of all, the immaculate shape that they were in, unbelievable, couldn't believe it. Um, so second thing is my pair, uh, my box is actually signed by David Flores. So I'm not sure, um, how it got done or when it got done or I don't know the story behind it. I wish I did know the story, but I'm pretty sure that that is David Flores' signature. Um, not like I said, I, I didn't personally I actually got it off somebody else, so I didn't personally sit there and watch him sign it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, just by the, the D's, I'm kind of comparing it and they look very, very similar. So um, that's kind of cool. Just another piece that's really, really cool. So the boxes has the David Flores symbol on it, as you can see right there. Let's go ahead and open it up for you. Um, so there's the sunglasses themselves. And just go ahead and open it up all the way for you. So there's the box right there, um, your warranty information. And then you have this card right here that is um, just the Artist Series card that we always talk about. Um, it's just more design pictures on the box. So same thing. And then on the back it has some information about um, David Flores. Let's see if I can get that up close. So just some more of his artwork and stuff. And then the guy that I actually got these from um, actually gave me a display card, this one right here, which was makes it even more rare. So I was just super stoked. Um, this guy actually contacted me through YouTube um, and was able to let him go and actually had to give him my, um, I think I'm gonna per finally pronounce this right, my Ichiro radars. I think I finally got that right. Please tell me if I didn't. Um, 
and we were able to make a swap so I don't have those radars anymore they were really cool but this is um, I thought it was a, a very generous fair trade so I had the display card just go ahead and show you the back of it same basic thing but it's um, I made it out of like card stock so and then you have your one year warranty information of course that's way gone by now and then your business reply so you have all the goods right here sitting right, right here in front of you and then finally down to the shades so the David Flores bag right there just the same it's the same exact thing it just flips around the side so it's cool then open it up right here so if I'm pulling out face face front so I'm not really a big fan of the gas can um, I guess that's kind of why I just ended up going with them the, is the very last thing that I ended up getting um, I only did have one more piece to my artist series collection and that is going to be the brown David Flores 1.0, the Japan only release. So saying this now, I'm going to go ahead and take the time and just say, um, if you do have the David Flores 1.0, the brown edition, the gunmetal or the orange icons, I, I, really, I don't prefer either one, um, just a collector's piece. If you do have them and you are willing to let them go, please contact me. Um, just about you know anything in my collection besides my artist series. Um, I would be willing to trade for you. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to pay any absurd kind of cash or money or anything, but um, I would be willing to trade and try and work something out with you. So there you go. I got that out there. So just as you can see, has the David Flores eyes. Actually has his little signature right here. Um, and something I was just noticing, I was watching BAPD's video about this. Um, he actually has one that has some numbering on the inside. I'm not quite sure, you know, what that numbering is or whatever, but mine doesn't have the numbering. So I don't know, I think he was saying it, it could have been a rep release or something like that, but like I said, I'm not sure. I don't know enough about this and to just be 100% honest, Oakley has never said anything to me about these. Um, I've asked a couple of people that um, have been a little bit higher up and they have told me that they would not, which they would not respond, they would not answer to my question at all. So, um, you know, that's, that's just um, kind of, the general basic of what happened so I really don't know that much and I don't you know really want to say what happened just simply because it was just something that was inappropriate and never should have happened to begin with the reason why he got arrested but that is what makes him such a rare and collectibles piece um, truthfully it's it's not something that I'm really proud to have because you know it is something that kind of left a scar on Oakley and didn't really look too well for the company but it is part of the artist series adventure so I had to go ahead and get it so there you go guys I mean looks pretty cool you know just from the front it's a standard gas can uh, I was glad they went ahead and just put the David Flores emblem up here just because so people can't change and pop out the lenses or change the frame or something you know you know you have the original piece by the David Flores emblem right there so there you go guys sorry that video was so long there was just a lot of stuff to explain in there um, and just a lot of stuff to talk about I want to make sure this video was very informative but yet um, correct you know I gave you correct information so um, there you go it's all laid out for you right there in front of you so if you have any questions guys please feel free to ask and thanks for watching hope you guys have a good day bye